This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you by the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Wednesday, April 26, 2023. Let's begin with reading from Scripture. We'll read from the 98th Psalm today. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, we've made it to the middle of the week. It's Wednesday. And here uh, here are your top five for, for, uh, for today. First, earlier this month, a... Uh, a uh, ground assault by the Taliban killed the ISIS, the Islamic State militant who organized the August 2021 suicide bombing at the Kabul airport that killed 13 U.S. troops and about 170 Afghans uh, during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Uh, again, this happened earlier this month uh, during a series of battles uh, wasn't initially apparent that uh, that this militant was uh, was killed in those battles but U.S. intelligence has confirmed with high confidence that the Islamic State leader has been killed. Second, uh, Chief Justice John Roberts uh, told the Senate that he would not be testifying at a Senate hearing uh, that's focused on the Supreme Court and ethics following a number of stories relating principally to, uh, to Justice Clarence Thomas. The justices instead all signed a statement uh, that uh, they reaffirm and restate foundational ethics principles and practices. Uh, the, uh, the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman uh, Dick Durbin, who requested uh, Chief Justice Roberts to testify, was uh, uh, did not believe the letter was sufficient and suggested that Congress should take up uh, establishing a new code of ethics for the, the high court. Finally, uh, at the age of 96, uh, yesterday, Harry Belafonte, uh, past. Belafonte is a prominent activist, actor, singer, uh, performed on stage and screen. Uh, one of the uh, staples of 20th century uh, American culture, a trailblazer uh, as a um, as an entertainer activist and uh, reaction came in from heads of state, civil rights leaders, and folks from the entertainment world uh, celebrating and noting the life of Harry Belafonte. All right, that is the news for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. 
May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, thanks for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.